What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We are The Food Scene and today we are down here in Elk Grove, California. We're visiting a restaurant called Journey to the Dumpling. And we'll actually be meeting the owners today and we'll also be going behind the scenes in the kitchen to see how these dumplings are actually made. Yep. And also in the video, we're gonna be trying a lot of delicious food. And then we're also gonna be seeing and telling you guys about the differences between a bao and a dumpling. Yeah, I don't know anything from a, a dumpling to a bao. This is my first time trying it, so. Mine uh, as well, so. Yeah. Let's go, let's go inside and see what it's all about. So my name is William Tan. Um, I am the brother of Chris Tan, which is the main owner for Journey to the Dumpling. I will also be part owner of the upcoming Journey to the Dumpling number two. So how long have you guys been here in El Grove? Almost four and a half years. Me and my brother, we always thought that Sacramento uh, in the general area needed a really good dumpling restaurant. Um, at the time when we first opened, there really isn't anything like our restaurant, you know, serving a nice variety of uh, dumplings, especially the Xiao Long Bao, the pork soup dumpling. So in general, dumpling, it's basically you get filling, uh, whether it's meat, vegetable, and then wrap with dough, and then uh, steam after that. I think our favorite dumpling, of course, it's the uh, pork soup dumpling, and that's where we have the most pride in with the uh, Xiao Long Bao. 2020, just like many other restaurants, it was a pretty challenging time. We had to make a lot of adjustments, uh, the laid out of the restaurant. But luckily, we had a fairly good following of customers. And because of that, we received a lot of support from all of our regular customers. The future of Journey to the Dumpling is definitely looking forward to that second location. That location, it's uh, in downtown right now. We're working hard to get that uh, second location ready. So where did the name Journey to the Dumpling come from? So the owner, uh, Chris and Yvonne, was uh, brainstorming. They didn't want anything generic, but still want the word dumpling in the title. And then um, there was a very famous Chinese novel called Journey to the West. With the two entities combined, they were playing around with Journey to the Dumpling. And then at the time, all the owners were traveling to a lot of different locations like Shanghai, Vancouver, San Francisco, Hong Kong to do research for, for the menu, uh, for our dumpling menu. So in a sense, it's kind of like for a customer, it shows their journey to develop this menu. Therefore, Journey to the Dumpling. So let's start off with their most popular dish. So what's yeah, it, it, they're steamed soup filled dumplings. They're gonna mostly filled with like pork, some scallions. Get ready, put it on your plate, and then get a soup spoon. Mm, this is kind of interesting. Oh, here we go, Donnell. You got this pinch? Oh! Let me just You got it, dumpling. You got it? Come on, you gotta get at least one dumpling today. Uh, no, I'm gonna get this. No, we're testing it. Come on, they're sticky too. They, 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 you got this, bro. It's the stickiest they're stickiest. trying to help you. Oh, there we go. Now put it on the spoon. Mission accomplished. Look at that. Look at that. Yes, sir. Ooh. You all right? You okay? A little spicy guy? The chili sauce went first. The chili oh. sauce is spicy. That is so good. I'm trying to... Yeah, this I don't is even know container. what to compare it to. I've never had another dumpling. It's like a marshmallow with soup inside. You think so? It's just like a marshmallow with, they, with soup inside. How do they make soup inside of it? Well, so basically when they make it, so they have like what is called like gelatin. So when they have the gelatin mixed in with like the, the minced meat oh. and then they fill so it. So before it's Yeah, so steamed. when it steams, it melts that gelatin, mm. thus making like a soup inside. Yeah, I was trying to imagine them pouring soup into it <laughs> and then <laughs> trying to fold it. That's pretty no, good. No, no, like, no, no. That, this, so. that would actually be kind of like, it'd be too tough to wrap actual liquid. Uh, yeah, I was trying to wrap no. my head around it. Mm. Okay, next we're gonna try like the pan fried dumplings. Mm. That's the only dumpling I've ever had, but my expectations are high. There you go, number two. Here we go, Donnell. Very flex for me. <laughs> You can literally roll it off. There we go. Oh, there we go. 
That's the signature and nobody knows how to use a tong and chopsticks. chopsticks. They just poke it. No, I meant to do that. that was oh, a, you did? That was my okay. thing. You just bite into it? Mm-hmm. If he comes to me, I'm, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> gonna make me poke you. <laughs> It popped in my mouth. Mm -hmm. Nice. It's juicy. How did they make it pop? It's that juice. There's like air. It's like air trapped inside. It's kind of airy, huh? It's when they steam it. Actually, that's how you know what? That's airy. how it makes them puff up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's how you get a lot of it's that like moisture in that juice. <laughs> the flavor. It's poppy. Mm -hmm. Hey, poppy. It's like two different. It's like two different foods in one. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. like the top is like super soft, and then the bottom tastes like a. Mm -hmm. It's like a biscuit almost. The texture. It does have a texture right. of a biscuit. Because mm -hmm. you have that soft dumpling that you you're used to, and then you get that crispy aspect. It looked like the little ghost on a uh, Pac-Man. So next thing I'm gonna try huh? is gonna be the minced pork bao. This one's kind of kind of huge. Somebody want to go half on this one? No. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. Dude, look at all that deliciousness. You never had that? Damn. What, you been in a cave? <laughs> it's so soft. Bro, I mean, oh. I'm eating a Tempur-Pedic mattress right now. <laughs> so if like, I can describe it. Tempur-Pedic bun? This is a memory foam <laughs> bow. So if you squeeze it, will it stay that way? I hope. <laughs> this is so soft, it doesn't feel like food. Yeah, this is like the... I don't know what... The version of bread. This is softer than any bread I've ever had. All right, so I'm gonna try this mushroom thing right here. It's a vegetarian option. It's called the mushroom bao. Ooh. This one, a shout out to you, Dwayne. Are you telling me it's stuffed? Oh, it's stuffed? Mm-hmm. So that's not a mushroom? It is a mushroom. It's a mushroom, but they stuffed it's it. It's a mushroom stuffed with mushroom? Mm -hmm. It's a stuffed mushroom. Mm -hmm. How did they do that? He how said, they... how'd they get it in there? No, really, how'd they do it? This is a mushroom too, right? Mm-hmm. How did they get the mushroom in the mushroom? Probably underneath. No, it's no. an actual bow, but they gave it an effect to look like a mushroom oh. because it's filled with mushroom. So this outside thing so isn't it's a mushroom? Actually, it's not a yeah, because if you if mushroom. you actually look here, when I break it up, you oh. see the texture of the bow itself. And then they dust it on the outside, outside to make it look, make it look like, like a mushroom. That's pretty smart. And then they fill it with mushrooms. But that's a sneaky move right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This thing blew my mind. But then this thing is like, all right. We're also going to have to be trying this wonton in chili oil. So it already has like some um, fried garlic on top with mm -hmm. some sesame seeds, some scallions, and then also the pork as well. Look at that. That delicate. Ooh. All right, Dono, pork time. Nope. I've been, oh. I've been training. Got to dedicate. This thing right here. Almost, here. almost. Here we go. This thing right here. There you go. Look, look, quick dip. I'm going crazy, huh? <gasps> oh, I need one. <laughs> Forget about it. <laughs> mm. My wife That's is going to be so mad when she mm. sees that we ate all this. Yeah. What? So how was this? Did somebody try this? Yeah. How was it? It's good. Oh. I didn't hear it. Really? Is it? I didn't hear it. Damn. Which one? I did. I did try this. I might have been trying to find the words, but it was good. Oh, you, you know why? Cilantro, right? Yeah. I think I was still confused by this one. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot what I was doing because I was. What is it real like? It honestly, I really thought that was a mushroom on the outside. Like full. This journey has. Mm. Thank you, Journey to the Dumpling. Hey, cheers to you, brother. For what? This food. <laughs> so we came, we saw, and we conquered the dumpling. Thank you so much for checking out our video at Food Scene. Yeah, if you guys want to have a journey of your own, uh, they're located here in El Grove, and we really uh, appreciate their business. And also, don't forget to follow us on all socials at ESP Food Scene. 
And also don't forget to turn on your notification bells for future updates in our YouTube video as well. And don't forget, always support your local restaurants. And don't forget, I just want the last word, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs>